I want to tell you some reasons why I enjoy living for Jesus Christ and I have not written anything right now to look at for notes. So let me go pretty much off the top of my head. Um, I like living for Jesus Christ because there is so much security. Like as I live, I get demonically attacked quite a bit. Not every day so much, but at times it may feel a lot, but I get demonically attacked and I can say this, living for him, I can use the name of Jesus and believe it or not, it really, really, really works, my Lord. So I believe there is security in Jesus Christ. There is protection in Jesus Christ. There is joy. I may not be happy every day because some issues may happen, but I'm rarely in a depressed mood. I may get sad, but I'm rarely in a very depressed mood for a long time. Rarely. I may get depressed, but not so often. No, not so often. So I believe there's joy. And also, what I like is like, I believe God will use you to affect others. And I think I like that so much. Like by you going by the rules of Jesus Christ, some people may draw inspiration from that and perhaps get motivation to continue or to try to live for Jesus Christ. I really like that. I like myself better as a person. Before I was sneaky, I was a very, very, very big liar, a very big manipulator in a bad way. I was a bad person in the past. Not saying I don't do anything wrong now, but as I grow more in Jesus Christ, like I really, yes, I need to improve on some things, but I like myself better as a person. I may not have as much money as I did back in the past. You know, I may not be able to jump from woman to woman, like I did back in the past, but I don't really care so much about those things. Like, even though I may have less now, I still want money, of course. <laughs> I still want money, but before, I believe I saw money as an idol. But now, I don't really see money as an idol. Yes, I want something there are things that i need to pay for and more money can really really help me but money is not can i say this a god to me like it was back in the past so i forget exactly what point i was trying to make in that so security protection I believe I said joy, affecting others, and I am a teacher. I may not be like a very high rate teacher. I may not be like a, you know, I may not have a very huge church, but I like, because what we are, you know, some people may take credit for the gift that they have in Jesus Christ. But if God is using you, it is not really you, if you understand what I am saying. If God heals a person through you, you did not heal that person. If God is teaching through you, it's not really you teaching. Like you are like a, 
like a third party or like a, a conduit, if I am saying that correctly, or if I am using the right word, you are like, you know, when you speak on a speakerphone, like you aren't the speaker, you are the speakerphone. So you are the device that is being used to carry out the message or make the message louder or to carry on the message pretty much, if you understand what I mean by that. Yes, I believe there is so much happiness in Jesus Christ, so much joy. Yes, I may go through very uncomfortable situations. I may have to deal with some people that may not be the kindest. But I really, really enjoy living for Jesus Christ. In the past, I was more ignorant than I am now. Before, I thought that living for Jesus Christ is so restrictive, so undesirable. I thought living for Jesus Christ would take away my fun. But as I grow more in Jesus Christ, that is not the truth. When you are in sin, I believe you are somewhat blind spiritually. So you may not be able to see the truth or may not be able to see it so clearly. But as your understanding and wisdom grows, you will see that many much of the sinful things you thought is fun you may see that it was not beneficial and i regret much things many things i did in my past i regret much of it because much of it was unnecessary i did not have to do so many bad things imagine if I would have stayed with God. Uh, let's say, imagine if I would have stayed with God or got with God and stayed with him at age six to the age I am now. Like imagine like how more advanced I would be now. So, I believe living in sin is a waste of time, a waste of effort, a waste of breath. Even if everyone around me chooses to not serve God, I am going to serve God because it is extremely beneficial. Now, I may have burdens, but what I can do, I can get down on my knees and pray to God and ask him to help me. That is a benefit in living for Jesus Christ. When people come against me, I can get down on my knees or not get on my knees. Sometimes I get down on my knees to pray. But um, I can begin praying and ask God to take care of my enemies. Like, when you live for Jesus Christ, you are not alone. I hope this makes sense. I don't have to depend on my own strength. I don't have to depend on my own understanding. I don't have to depend on my own wisdom. Like, I would say Jesus Christ, I would say he is a friend, but he is more than a friend. I would say that he is like a father. You know, when you are young, or I guess when some people are young, you know, like you may be very dependent upon your mother or father. Like if anything goes wrong, you can go to your dad or mom. Maybe not everyone was able to do this, but let's say for an example, you could. You could go to your mother or father and tell them what is going on 
and there is a high chance that they are going to fix it. That is what Jesus Christ is to me. I don't have to worry. Sometimes I may be very concerned or I may worry a little bit, but I don't have to. I don't have to worry. I don't have to be very, very concerned. I may do it at times, but I don't have to do it because what I can do is put it in God's hands. That is a very great benefit in living for Jesus Christ. There are times when I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. You know, there are times where if I may do or say something, it may make things worse. Guess what? I can go to Jesus Christ about that problem or problems. Living for Jesus Christ is very, very beneficial, but all you probably see, well, I can't get drunk. I can't get high, which I'm not sure if getting high is a sin or not, but it probably is. I can't fornicate. I can't commit adultery. So all the fun things are pretty much a sin, which is a lie. I believe there are still fun things you can do that aren't sinful. And I thank God for being able to live for Jesus Christ because there are so many benefits that you may not be aware of because probably demons are making you blind to it. You believe you are having fun by doing all those sins, but look at yourself. Are you happy with yourself? When I was doing so much mess, I was not happy. I believe I was very depressed. I believe I was like, I was very, I believe I was very spiteful. I was not joyful back then. I was not. Even though I may have less, I may have no friends, like real, real, real friends. I may have no real friend. I may not have as much as I did before, but things are much better than they were back then. At least I don't have to do bad things to get this done or get that. I don't have to do bad things no more. I didn't have to do it before, but I thought that I had to, you know, or maybe I just wanted to do it, but I don't have to do bad things to get particular things done. I don't have to con people. I don't have to swindle people. I don't have to do this bad thing or that bad thing. There are benefits in living for Jesus Christ, and you may not be aware of them. And these are some things pretty much off the top of my head. May God bless you.